It's beginning to look like the side's, shall we say, a little bit more settled now. Everyone's starting to, to gel a little bit. Would that be fair to say? I think, um, you know, we've had a win at Tamworth and we've had a draw at Hayes and a draw against Luton. So there's three positive results. Um, rightly that we want to get three points in every game and obviously they're, they're valuable points. But, um, you know, when you have to change sides, um, obviously you, you, you do so with hoping that people come back in into contention. We played with two wingers. Um, we've, in previous games away from home, we've, we've played three up top. So a vari variation of formation. But um, no, I'm delighted with everybody. The boys have worked very hard and we work hard on, uh, on, on training on, on different aspects of formations and uh, uh, set plays. But the, the players, you know, Ryan Williams came back in. He was nice and fresh. Louis acquitted himself uh, fairly well. He, he showed a good spring in his step. So I, yeah, I was very pleased with um, certain aspects. Just finally on the, on the game on Tuesday, at the end there was, a, and I must stress this, a very small section of the Mansfield Town fans who, who booed your side off the pitch. Did they? They did, yes, in, <laughs> in the West End. I take it you didn't hear that, but we certainly did. Did you? In terms of one of our commentary team, Mick Saxby, he labelled that section, and only that section, as fickle. What are your thoughts on that? I'm not prepared to comment. I think we've got very good fans. There's a certain element at every club that um, have got a, an ulterior motive. Um, I, I don't read websites. I, I'm not really interested in, in that type of thing. Um, there are a lot of people that... Now, I was speaking to a person recently who, who goes to a, a, a club and, uh, and uh, before a game he's already got the ump. So I don't know why Bob is going. Um, but listen, fans are, are good people. Um, as I say, our club, we've got... We'll always have um, people... You can't always please everybody. So if people de decide to boo... I mean, the chairman recently um, had his words about these type of uh, people that come out and, and say uh, derogatory things about... Not well, about me, but... And, and, and the club. Um, I think that we've got to show um, uh, professionalism and certainly uh, I respect uh, all, all types of people. As long as it's um, constructive and if people want to boo, yeah, it's up to them. I don't, I don't understand why they boo. Um, do you? Well, it was a very good performance. I mean, Mansell kept going until the 95th minute in that game. I mean, yeah. from where I was, I was shocked well, as well. Perhaps it might have been Luton fans. Um, I don't know. I, I, listen, as I say, fans, we want them to get behind the scene. The team. We've done everything we can to try and get the fans on board. Um, myself, I, I feel that uh, there's been a lot of positives and I get a lot of positive feedback from uh, fans that write to me. Um, and if I do get an odd negative one, I try to respond to them. So uh, you always try to help people. You can't please everybody. Um, and as I say, with the chairman and myself and the board, the, the, the players, they do their utmost to keep uh, people on their side. Um, I think that there's a legacy of people who just turn up to boo, that's up to them. I can't, I'm not really worried. A negative from Tuesday night was obviously the injury to, to Luke Jones. First of all, how is he and, and what's the time frame on his injury? Well, we feel that um, hopefully it, it's... Um, we feel that first he'd broken his ankle, but it appears that the, the challenge that he got, the block, the block challenge, is that he's got three stitches in his shin from that. So it was a hefty old challenge. Um, it went without uh, just a t it went with just a talking to, so that was an interesting one. Um, I think the referee was probably a little bit unsighted by that. However, the the, the challenge, uh, um, sorry, the, the turning of his ankle when he went over in the box was um, completely uh, you know, off the cuff and uh, really a feel for the, you know, Luke playing very very well. He's just striking up a very good strong partnership. In terms of it, we can't really tell just yet. We're waiting for maybe have a scan and. Um, I've seen him this morning, he's, he's got a smile on his face, he's up, he's up. Um, but obviously we hope it's not as bad as we fear. Any other worries from Tuesday night? Oli Hotchkiss, he's on the table. We've seen Jake Spate walk into the training ground as well this morning. How are they progressing? Yeah, Jake's got, got given the all clear to start his, his rehab again and, and, and his, his trail back. He's a fit man um, and we're obviously hoping that he'll be fit. I'm not going to put him in a position where it's going to hurt him. I think that's the most important thing is we, how we treat this one. Is that I feel that being optimistic it was going to be Saturday. Um, for Salisbury, but I feel probably that with a week's training it would benefit him. Um, so you have to use your brain a little bit there rather than, uh, um, you know, you're, you're eagerly waiting him to, you know, I think we missed him a little bit. He's, you know, he really has been uh, playing very well. So we've got to make sure he's right and we don't want to set him back. So the Tamworth game is probably where we'll look for him to come back into the squad. Um, Ollie is isn't, isn't not fit yet. Um, he, uh, he's still got uh, pain in his ankle, but he's, he's unlike training. Um, so yeah, you know, other than that, John Challoner took a knock, so we treat him with kid gloves this morning. 
Um, and it was, um, other than that, no work out. Let's turn to Saturday now. Thoughts on Salisbury first of all? Salisbury will come with um, five at the back, um, three in midfield and two up top. Boy Tubbs is a good player. Um, as I say, they play three centre halves, so we may have to look to change in our formation. Um, got a lot of respect for the football club itself. We went down there and we were successful, we played very well that day. So, yeah, we're looking for a big performance from our, from our strikers. I think there's a lot of onus on our strikers right now. We need goals. We've scored goals in recent weeks. Um, and, you know, they've really got to try and step up to the mark. And, um, but also, you know, the supply has got to be, has got to be better as well. We, we can improve on that. So there are aspects that we, you know, that we, we, we can improve on. And that's the beauty of football, isn't it? Shaw and, and Duffy started on Tuesday night. What do you think about how they went on Tuesday? Did, did they cancel each other out at times, maybe? How do you mean? Well, just in terms of, you know, if you bring Kyle Perry on when he came on, more of a target man, shall we say? Well, I felt that we could... Um, John was working his socks off. Um, the boy Kovacs is a big lad, isn't he? Um, obviously, he's not as mobile. I think we had to make sure we were competing with him uh, because he, the, the first ball in the conference is uh, very much an important ball. And um, I felt Rob and, and Kovacs had a, a, a good old tussle. Um, John, he was working hard. I say there was a lot of penetrative stuff, but I'll give Pilkington, he's a good defender. But um, as I say, a little bit more fluency around, and perhaps um, another day we, you know, we would have got on the score sheet. In terms of Salisbury, if we look at their away form, eight wins, eight losses, no mm. draws. So one thing we should expect <laughs> on Saturday is there's going to be a result out of this game. <laughs> yeah, nil-nil, wasn't it? <laughs> um, I don't know. But we'll take it in the context, we'll, we'll analyse what we've got. Um, I think it's really con concerning ourselves with ourselves. We, we know that what they've got at the back and um, uh, they'll, they'll shape up. And um, They'll come to frustrate, they'll come to um, frustrate the fans, they'll come to do that and that's um, a, a gimme. Uh, and and I, I hope that we can show the patience and we'll try and come out the traps early doors and get that early goal which really has been uh, um, needed. And I feel that if we can do that then obviously that we, we'll go on to be successful. Which league table have you got up in your office at the minute? Is it the one with, with Chester still in the league or is it the one without Chester? One without Chester. And looking, looking ahead at that league position at the minute, it's, it's a case of getting three points on Saturday mm. and getting maybe the, the playoff push in your hands and, and, and not relying on other sides, you know, losing and, and, and getting it back. In the, only way, the only way we can affect um, other teams are the teams that we're playing. If teams go on unbeaten runs, full credit to them. If they go on almighty uh, slips, then unlucky. Um, but let's say I'm not worried about anybody else apart from myself. We've got to. We've got three games now where we've been unbeaten, um, and I feel that we've got to try and turn those um, the little things into big things, and they're, they're called goals and um, performances. Um, the players are aware of that, and I feel that. Um, too much can be read into the outside situation. I can't do anything else than other than concentrate on our, our football club, and we uh, we've done so all season. And, and other teams uh, will be reflecting on what we do. But I feel that you know that there's nothing we can do about it, and that's purely the case. And Saturday's just another stepping stone, isn't it? Saturday's another three points that we've got to go out there and work our socks off for. There's games that we will influence, and there's um, I study a lot on other teams' uh, um, runnings as well. Um, whilst we can't uh, do anything on the performances. Um, there's some big games coming up for other teams and there'll be a few twitchy moments, so it's all to play for. I see you've got a smile on your face, David. You're obviously enjoying this period in the season. If you can't enjoy working hard and, and, uh, and enjoying being at your football club, which we've worked very hard for, um, I enjoy being around the, the, the players and the, the, all the office staff are good people at our club. And um, you've got to enjoy that. You know, if there's pressure on you, good. I, I like pressure.